Good afternoon and welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. Our entrance song today can be found in the Ritual Song Hymnals. It's number 886, The Summons, number 886 in the Ritual Song Hymnal. Please stand as we sing together The Summons. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare for this Mass, let us ask, Lord, forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, and what I've done and what I've felt to do, through my fault, through my fault, the most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May you be magnified, O Lord, by the reverent memory of Son Cosma and Damian, for with providence behind words, you have conferred on them everlasting glory, and on us your failing help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of Job. One day when the angels of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job, and that there is no one on earth like him? blameless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil. But Satan answered the Lord and said, Is it not for nothing that Job is God-fearing? Have you not surrounded him, his family, all he has with your protection? Have you blessed the work of his hands, his livestock are spread over the land? But now put forth your hand and touch anything that he has, and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand upon his person. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And so one day, while his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses were grazing beside them, but the Sabians carried them off in a rave. They put the herdsmen to the sword, and I alone have a scrape to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Lightning has fallen from heaven and struck the sheep and their shepherds and consumed them, and I alone escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans formed three columns, seized the camels, 
carried them off and put those tending to them to the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, when suddenly a great wind came across the desert and smote the four corners of the house. It fell upon the young people, and they are dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job began to tear his cloak and cut off his hair. He cast himself prostrate upon the ground and said, Naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked I shall go back again. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all this Job did not sin, nor did he say anything disrespectful of God. The word of the Lord. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night, though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading for the Holy Gospel according to Luke. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever received this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among you, all of you, is the one who is greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him, because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him. Whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. What a beautiful image that Jesus presents us of a child is asking us as the disciples to be like a child talk about so many times like God wants us to have a heart of a child so that we can go to the world and preach the good news and the child is the person that is a child who trusts unconditionally is called blind doesn't distinguish the way we distinguish it doesn't have an opinion totally trust to his parents and the environment around him. So we too need to have this attitude of simplicity and trust in the Lord. Remember when we were kids growing up, we had such joy in our hearts. Even though there was a war going on in the world, at least every year there's 20, 30 wars going on on this planet, but we didn't know 
All we knew was have fun, be present, enjoy each other in gratitude and innocence. We can do the same. We don't have to live in fear. Some part of fear used to say, pray, hope, don't worry. To do this, we have to have a, a heart of a child, trust in the Lord. And we don't treat the child with the respect. We love them just the way they are. That's where God loves us. But we have to be like a child. We have to have an attitude of a child so that God can love us just the way we are. We don't have to impress him. We don't have to be impress anyone. Just be yourself. Let the Lord love you as you are. But remember though, the attitude has to be of innocence and simplicity. So let us ask the Lord to change our hearts, to soften our hearts, that we don't become sophisticated, old, miserable, in anxiety, in fear. More old we become, more in fear we live. That's not healthy. God wants us to know that He has come in this world not to make our life miserable, but that we have life. Jesus never says, I have come to make your life miserable. I have come to give you life and to give it in abundance. Let us now, with faith and confidence, present our petition to Heavenly Father. For church leaders, may the Holy Spirit fortify them in their gospel mission. Let us pray to the Lord. For a greater respect for life throughout the world, from conception through natural death, let us pray to the Lord. For parents seeking to form their children in faith, may the Holy Spirit fill them with grace and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered in this holy place, may God's Holy Spirit bestow upon us the gifts of piety and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died in the peace of Christ, may God grant them eternal rest in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For Benjamin Garrett Johnson, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. God of all goodness, receive these prayers offered by your children today. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We invite you to come forward and then place a donation in the basket near the sanctuary to help the mission of the cathedral. We thank you for your generosity. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours be accepted to God, your mother, Father. In honor of the precious dead of your just ones, Cosmo and Damian, O Lord, we come to offer that sacrifice from which all martyrdom draws its origin. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to Lord our God. In the story writer just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most of all, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you were to whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as endure his passion, as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make only the fourth gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child. He once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death, the resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your elders worthy to be in your presence and ministry to you. Humble we pray, that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, we have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That would bless the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed Apostle, St. Cosme and Damiano, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age. We may merit it, be coerced eternal life, may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At Savior Command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day that we pray. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we were to bless them and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. On you stay, quit all its peccat amundi. Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, quit holis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, quit holis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold them who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not ready to eat the My roof will be set down and say the Lord. Our communion song is number 800 in ritual song, Seek Ye First, number 800.
Let us pray. Preserve in us your gift, O Lord, and may what we have received at your hands as we commemorate the martyrs, Son Cosma and Damien, bring us healing, salvation, and peace. Through Christ our Lord. I would like to recognize anyone who is here for the first time at Our Lady, uh, at Our Lady Angel to raise your hand so we can recognize you if there's anyone visiting us from outside our parish. Welcome. A security personnel will be near the bronze door to assist you with the parking validation. The parking validation is good for 90 minutes. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace now to love, serve the Lord, and each other.